Hi everyone, let's find out how to detect threshold crossings with NumPy. This is the data. It is neuronal spikes that are simulated and the threshold that we want to detect is zero. And here we already see with these blue X's, they mark the data points where the data crossed the threshold. Now let's go to the code to find out how that is done. We can actually detect threshold crossings with NumPy in one line of code. And this line is on line 15 right here. To threshold crossing, it assigns the result of calling numpy.diff of the Boolean array of data being larger than zero. There are two parts of this code. One is the Boolean array of data larger than, than zero. And this Boolean array, it will be true wherever data is larger than the zero, and it will be false wherever data is smaller or equal than zero. And this Boolean array is plotted right here. And we can see this is exactly what we would expect from this array. It's one, one being um, the num numerical representation of true where the threshold is crossed and it is zero wherever the threshold is not crossed. However, this is not exactly what we want. We want to find out the data points exactly where the data is changing from being below the, th the threshold to being above the threshold or going from above the threshold to below the threshold. And this is of course the, the transition from zero to one. And we can get exactly the data point where this happens with the diff function. The diff function looks at the data and it always takes the each data point minus the previous data point. So right here, for example, we take zero minus zero, 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 but then we take one minus zero. And this data point is then exactly one. And this is true because it is still a Boolean array. We're just plotting it in its numerical form, but it still evaluates to true at this data point. Then on the next data point, we continue with one minus one, which is zero, one minus one, one minus one, one minus one, and so forth until we get to zero minus one. And you think this should be um, minus one. And usually with the diff function, that is true. However, the diff function works a little differently on Boolean arrays. For Boolean arrays, the diff function returns um, true for any uh, non-zero value. So it returns true for this one here, but it also returns true for minus one, because minus one is non-zero. And the reason why we need to use this prepend argument here is that of course, if we take each data point minus the previous one, the, there's one data point uh, in each array that does not have a previous data point, And this one cannot be evaluated. And this data point is of course the very first one. So what we're just saying here is that the first data point that cannot be calculated should just be replaced with a, with a false, so with a zero. But we don't even see that data point in this data because of the way we're plotting it. However, we need to use this prepend because otherwise this result, diff binary, would have a different size than our original data, which would cause us a lot of problems. So this is essentially it. Now you can of course use this Boolean array to, for example, use it to index into the data right here. And this is the way I plotted these blue X's here. Finally, you can of course convert this binary array to indices using the numpy.argware function. And if you only are interested in, for example, the upward crossings, you can of course select only those by taking uh, only every second value of the uh, index array. 
So that's it for this video. I hope it's useful to you and I see you in the next one.